Ja, det känns att ibland med bara små rör som i sina fingrar man blir lite magik. Det är någonting som är magik. Ofta de kallar mig Magic Claire på opera. Det, är, det räcker att man rör dem på ett rätt sätt. Då de blir befriade och de bara krämmer mig och säger Du är Magic Claire. <laughs> Så, ungefär, och det känns bra. Det, det är det som jag älskar i mitt jobb. Det är att jag får alltid ett bekräftelse direkt efter. Och det är riktigt uh, underbart. Det är det som jag älskar mest i mitt jobb. Folk är alltid glada och positiva. Alltid, alltid vad det gäller sång. Det är att folk är oerhört uh, tacksam och uh, positiv. Det är den som jag tycker mest om. Jag är operasångerska. Solist på Kungliga operan. Uh, där jag har jobbat i 12 år. Uh, jag har frilansat innan dess. Uh, men uh, det är min erfarenhet som jag bygger på. Och det jag talar om. Här idag är att använda den erfarenheten och lära ut enkla verktyg som man kan sedan använda om man står på scen i en annan kapacitet som talare. Eller också varför inte i privata sammanhang. Och jag frågar, vad betyder fokus till dig? Fokus för mig betyder att ha en samlad tanke som leder över i en, eh, mer, ett mer fokuserat handlande helt enkelt. En avslappnad röst i en avslappnad kropp som kan ha en klarare riktning och ett tydligare och kraftigare, kraftfullare budskap. Så tänker jag voice, body, soul. Special thing is that we try to hold tension you see it by Amanda at the moment. Come up, make a little break, then go up again. Just a little break. Because We train our stomach, our, co our core area, to find our middle. And it's the same, the same tension, a little bit harder than on the stage. But you can, you can uh, try to, to fix on the stage too. So we try to, to train it, and then you can, can do it on the stage for the sound, for your voice. You involve many different teachers from many different areas in your workshop, from other countries as well. Uh, why do you do this? We had uh, Professor Konstantin Pustovoy from um, Tchaikovsky University Conservatory in Moscow. We had uh, uh, a personal trainer from one of the most famous uh, sporting and spa clubs in Germany who came just here. Um, I have several guests which I think who share the voice, body, soul concept and who think uh, voice and body and soul belongs together. And we will cooperate now with Justin Stoney from New York Vocal Coaching, one of the most famous singing teachers in America, who will come for our international summer program. And uh, I'm very proud that he will be with us. Oh, what I love the most is uh, seeing people grow. You know, and what I love about what Florian's doing is, you know, voice, body and soul. That's That's really how the voice works. You can't just teach vocal technique. You have to teach the whole person. You have to teach the inner journey, mind, body, spirit, everything. It's all one. And so what I've seen throughout the years is people's vocal technique, not just going to the next level, but their life, who they are, taking off through singing. And you see people take a step forward on their inner journey. Look at that, the voice comes along with it. And you can see them do a technique, uh, improvement, look at that, they just open something in the inside. Well, to me, voice, body, and soul are intertwined and uh, inseparable. I think the voice, as far as our means to communicate with the world, is a reflection of who we are, what we believe, and 
uh, experiences that we accumulate in our life. So when we express ourselves, it is coming from the totality of who we are and the life that we live, which I believe is our soul, how we choose to be in the world. And the body is responsible for the production of the voice. The voice to me is as much a part of someone's body as their arm or their leg. Especially given that these two little muscles inside of this larynx are primarily responsible for the voice. Depending on the state of the body, the state of the voice will reflect that. And if you're connected to an authentic self, if you're connected to truth, you are passionate about expressing, the voice is then also reflective of the soul. So voice, body, and soul, to me, are one and the same thing.